Look at some of these potatoes. Isn't that awesome? So exciting. Welcome to our channel. My name is Crystal. Today I am harvesting our blue Adirondack potatoes. We grew these potatoes from seed potatoes that we ordered from High Mowing Seed Company. They've done really good, but it is time for them to come out. They have flowered, they grew their berries, they have died back, and now it is time for us to harvest whatever is beneath the surface of the soil. We grew them in grow bags. They seem to do really good in these. I'm growing Yukon gold potatoes in the white half 55 gallon drums over here. Those are doing good and that's what we grew all of our potatoes last year in. But I wanted to try the grow bags and they did really good in here. But I'm excited to get them out, see what we got. Use the grow bags to grow other things. All right, let's get started. They had pre-ordered the potatoes back in fall time and then I got them, I think, in April. And I wasn't quite ready to put them in the ground yet. They came in a cardboard box and I just stored them in our basement. It's a nice cool place to store them, so they did good down there. When I was getting ready to plant them, I decided a week prior that I would cut them up, let them dry or scab over before I planted them. Once they were ready to be planted, I got the grow bags that I wanted to use and I put a little bit of soil on the bottom. I put about five potatoes or so in each grow bag. These are 20 gallon grow bags. So I just did a, a layer of soil and then I put the potatoes down and then I did another layer of soil on top of that. As they grew, I just added more and more soil to the top and then this is how they look now. They have grown their flowers and berries and have died back. I have taken a peek in this pot over here and there are for sure potatoes underneath there. So I think it's time for me to pull them out. We are supposed to be getting an obscene amount of rain the next couple of days in addition to the rain that we have already gotten and I really just kind of want to get these out and drying. I don't want them sitting in water if they're all done. So I'm just going to start digging down here. It's pretty dry underneath here, which is nice. Oh, and we have some potatoes. Oh, that's wonderful. So this is one of the potatoes that I had cut up. That's how it looks. And wow. It's so cool. Oh man, look at that. How great is that? filthy. <laughs> My hands are so gross. <laughs> I am so surprised at how many potatoes that we got. Um, and some of them are really big. Look at some of these potatoes. Isn't that awesome? So exciting. I grew like white potatoes or something last year from store-bought potatoes and we got a decent amount and they were delicious. This year I wanted to be a little bit more adventurous with what we were growing and my daughter loves the color purple and these are just absolutely gorgeous when you cut into them. I'll have to take a weight measurement of how many pounds that we got, but that's so cool. I planted those potatoes back in April. So it's been April, May, June, July. It's been probably a solid three months of them growing. It looks so much cleaner over here. I might end up moving these grow bags out of the way and just opening up this whole section here and uh, maybe I'll put them 
over there and put some of the leftover plants that I had into these enormous grow bags. So that'll do it for this potato video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it helpful or entertaining or something. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you and we will see you next time. Bye.